lawmakers are voting today on the government's tax reform package, which Finance Minister Zdravko Maric has said will bring tax relief to taxpayers and businesses, as well as streamline regulations. Opposition MPs have criticized the changes, claiming they will benefit the wealthy and do little for those with modest incomes. Activists concerned with income inequality urged lawmakers in front of parliament today to pledge that they understood all of the economic and social implications of the tax reform package by putting up two years of their MPs' salaries as a guarantee. They passed out a written contract and encouraged MPs to sign it. Most's Ines Strenjalinic and the HDZ's Darko Milinovic, both from the ruling majority, agreed to sign the pledge, saying they were confident the changes would not result in more income inequality. The EU's Commissioner for the Internal Market, Industry, Entrepreneurship and SMEs, Elisbeta Bienkowska, is in Zagreb for an official visit. She is here to take part in a Southeast European business conference, which is focused on cooperation and entrepreneurial learning. The Commissioner met with Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and Deputy Prime Minister Martina Dalic. Bienkowska said she supported the government's efforts on tax reform, especially those aimed at streamlining regulations. PPD Zagreb stunned Rhein Neckar Lowen in Champions League handball last night. The final score was 25 to 21. Zagreb held their own as best they could in the early stages, but despite a few turnovers, went into the second half five goals down. But Zagreb switched up their defense and Leuven endured a 12-minute scoreless run. The home side turned the match on its head and had a four-goal lead heading into the home stretch. Zagreb keep their hopes alive of reaching the final 16 and Leuven misses the chance of heading to the top of Group B. Medveshchak lost their 38th game of the KHL season last night to Russian side Avangard, four goals to one. It was the Bears' third consecutive home defeat. Medveshchak is in 11th place in the Western Conference with 44 points, 12 fewer than they need to reach 8th place and a ticket to the playoffs. Most of the country will see partly sunny skies today. There will be clouds on the coast and a chance of light rain in Dalmatia in areas along the shore. Slavonia and Baranya can expect a moderate northwesterly wind, while the central regions will see a north-northeasterly pick up later in the day. On the coast, there will be a light to moderate northeasterly wind, which will surge tonight and overnight in the north, reaching high speeds, and in the Velebit area, reaching gale force. Afternoon highs will be mostly between 7 and 10 degrees Celsius in the interior and between 11 and 15 degrees on the Adriatic. Conditions in the interior over the coming days will be mostly sunny and dry. The mornings will be cold, with temperatures dipping below freezing and reaching highs of around 5 degrees during the day. The coast can expect partly sunny skies. Patches of clouds could be accompanied by some light rain, primarily in the north. There will still be a high northeasterly wind on Saturday, with strong gales in the Velebit area. Winds will fall on Sunday, and daytime temperatures will rise slightly. Thank <laughs> you.